Well, welcome back to the artifacts. Today we're going to look at how to make some cheap wide angle lenses for a head mounted display. I call it Leap on the Cheap simply because the real pioneer of wide angle head mount optics was Leap Optics and this is a way of sort of achieving some of what they did with a very expensive lens in an inexpensive manner. So we actually really start with very few parts. Um, the key is of course our optics. We get two lenses. I got these um, from Edmund or Anchor Optics which is their discount place and uh, the large one is a double convex 60 62.8 millimeter diameter 72.4 millimeter focal length coated lens $13.50 this lens you'll notice even though it says double convex is really much more convex on what's going to be the bottom side and pretty flat on what is going to be the top side so just remember that the second lens which is our eyepiece um, is a Plano convex 42.5 millimeter diameter 77 millimeter focal length and again if you'll notice the bottom is nice and rounded bulgy and the top is flat and that's the flat top that's going to go in front of our eye and the bottom is going to the bulgy part is going to face um, towards what we're looking at um, the other two little tidbits I found that work quite well are a two inch PVC coupler and one of the nice things about this is halfway down the inside there's a nice little ridge and we're going to use that to support one of the lenses. Um, it also happens to be just about the right dimensions to do everything we need. Um, and the last component is a thin sheet of plastic um, thin enough to cut with an exacto knife yet thick enough to hold the weight of our small lens. So with all that in mind, let's get going. Um, what we're going to want to do is insert the larger lens into the PVC coupler. It's a little too small. So what I do will simply saw it open, completely open. So now it expands slightly. So with that in mind now, we look at this coupler. It really can run either way. Look at our lens. We want to insert the lens with the bulgy side down. We do that and just open up the PVC slightly and push the lens in all the way down to the little ridge in there so that the bulge sticks out below the ridge. In an ideal world I'd be doing this with white cotton gloves and trying to keep my fingerprints off the lenses but it doesn't help our little demonstration to do that. So that's step one. We get a little bit of black duct tape because we want to make this kind of light proof and just wear the PVC has expanded. Let's just tape over that. Keeps the light out, keeps it nice, everything nice and firm. Now this lens is in pretty darn tight, so I wouldn't worry about it. So next thing is we need to cut a little disc, which is going to, in the end, look like this. And what we do is we start with a little piece of plastic. Um, and we want to cut an, an inner hole and we need to find a disc that's approximately the right size. I wound up using a 37 millimeter filter. Take that, draw around it with a pencil. Take my X-Acto knife and cut it out. I've already done this one, it's very rough, but the idea is that our smaller lens is going to rest gently in this hole so that the bulge 
goes down and we'll caulk this lens in somehow um, a little later to hold it steady. But this essentially is adapting the size of the large PVC tubing to the smaller lens. So in any event we now have almost have our ring so once we've cut out the inner we would want to do the same thing with the outer center that draw around it with a pencil come back and cut out the outer side of our ring in the interest of keeping this video short we won't do that today so now we've got a little ring you can see how imprecise mine is hopefully you'll cut better and I'm building this so that I can take it apart anytime I want to um, to do more demos so I'm just going to secure my ring with a couple of strips of black tape works fine and there we go it's now pretty secure remember we have bulgy side of the lens down and it's sitting on top of the that lens is sitting on top of the little ridge inside the PVC tubing and then lastly we take our lens here and rest it in and in an ideal world we would then caulk around the edge as a way of securing the lens in and the honest answer is you can do this almost any way you want to. Um, this is just an inexpensive two dollar mounting system that I put together for this demonstration. And then lastly we're making a head mount so we need a display and um, I use my little Aris here better than nothing and um, we'll try our luck with the, a YouTube video and there we go we're going to tear down and examine a virtual research vr4 stereoscopic so now if i put this on here i wanted to give you a little bit of a tour we're all set to go and the control box for what we'll we started to disassemble it let's have a look at this we'll have a more detailed look at the guts of the system so this is the helmet. We have a control box here. That's the front panel of the control box, rear panel, and a brick style so power supply. Really power all supply you got. To the back of the control box. Now, one of the things you'll notice is the LCD display is inset deep inside my Aris and actually that's good because your alternative is that you'll probably need to shim up this so that it sits just slightly above maybe an eighth to a quarter of an inch above the surface that you're looking at um, but fortunately with my little cell phone the LCD surface is inset inside the case about an eighth of an inch and so it all works out so um, I guess it's time to work hard to write an application for the Aris that would do be a VR application. The Aris has a um, orientation sensor and uh, various other sensors in there. Probably would make a nice little head mount. In particular, this screen is a bit large for these lenses. In an ideal world, you probably want a screen that's maybe. 30% smaller uh, in each dimension. Um, you can see when I uh, brought the camera in on to let you look in here, you could see that it was pretty badly overscanned. But I think we've demonstrated the principle. We've spent oh maybe about $25. Um, we've only built one eye. We would obviously need to build two eyes, and then we get into okay another one right here and fitting it all together. So thanks, I hope you enjoyed and um, see you next time. Bye.